Radio. Israel's president led out the caretaker prime minister to announce a result he'd been trying to avoid. Reuven Rivlin wanted Benjamin Netanyahu to form a national unity government with his main rival, Benny Gantz. Those talks failed, and instead he chose the man with a bigger potential coalition bloc to have the first chance at forming a government. The decision on who should be handed the task of forming the government depends on who has more chance to succeed. Currently, 55 supported Knesset member Netanyahu and 54 supported Knesset member Benny Gantz. However, 10 of them said they wouldn't sit with him in a government. Before the announcement, a second meeting between Netanyahu and Gantz at the president's home served merely to confirm what was already clear. The talks between their parties had gone nowhere. Neither man reportedly willing to go second in a rotational prime minister agreement. Netanyahu said he would continue to push for such a deal within days. The pressure is on. His first pre-indictment hearings on corruption charges are due next week. I'll do the utmost with the mandate you gave me. If I don't succeed, I'll return the mandate to you. And with the help of God and Israel citizens and yourself, Mr. President, we will establish a broad national unity government down the line. After the announcement, Gantz reiterated that he would not serve under a prime minister facing indictment, who insisted on bringing with him a large block of right-wing parties. The longer the process goes on, the closer he gets to being charged, the more pressure mounts on Netanyahu to stand aside. But if Benny Gantz's strategy is simply to wait until conditions favour him, well, the president reminded him that he had another option. He could merely toss the ball to the Knesset and ask it to find an alternative candidate who could muster 61 recommendations. The president has made his initial choice, but it's no breakthrough. Israel's political stalemate goes on. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.